Hi, I'm Kathy Rowe, and if I can lead you through this floor stretch that's going to make you feel free, elongated, expanded, and great because motion is lotion. So let's get started. We're going to get started down here on the floor. Now you see, I have a cushion, and if you'd like to put a little cushion or pillow down, please get one now. We're going to start with some deep breaths in because we want to start oxygenating those muscles. We want to get a lot of oxygen and some fluid into the joints. Let's take some deep breaths as we just start a little motion in the shoulders. Now on the right arm, we're going to lift it up, but the sit bone here stays on the ground so it doesn't lift off. We just take it all the way over, easy does a little stretch, and back to the top. Other side, not tipping off. We stay right there on the top, and up and over. All of that one more time, take that deep breath in and center, making it feel so fluid. Take the breath in and open. Here comes that right arm, no hip comes up. All the way over, fluid. And shoulders down, keeping the ears over the shoulders at all times. Taking a deep breath in. Now without moving your hips or pelvis, we are just going to twist to the right and Lift so super tall in your back. Take a deep breath there. And to the center. Other side. So pelvis doesn't shift or move. When you take this deep breath in a twist, you'll feel while you inhale that it stretches you kind of from the inside out. And back to center. Hands are going to go on your knees. And I'm going to turn to show you. As you go back, it's like you're trying to reach your back toward the floor, but your chin goes toward your chest. And if you let go of your knees, you might just fall backwards. And to the center, now the opposite. We're going to lift the chest. Chest comes up. And we'll take that back to the center. Arms come up right there on the top and onto the shoulders. We're going to start a little twist one arm reaches forward, and then the other side. Now what we're trying to do is keep the pelvis very, very stable so that the twist and the stretch is in your back, and it's not because your hips are twisting. Two more times, take it forward, give it that big reach, and forward, both arms front. Take a deep breath in open and you guys we're going to put the other leg in the front so here we go deep breath in to the center it might feel a little different with this other leg in the front because nobody is exactly the same on both sides right i'm going to take that left arm up and over do not come off of that hip and back to the center both sit bones are really down so that we're stretching from the waist up and to the center. With this leg in front, we still have to do our twist up. Keep the shoulders down, ears over the shoulders. As we twist, get a little taller. Take your deep breath in when you get there. And back to center, other side. Take your deep breath in when you get there. And we're front, hands on the knees. Inhale, exhale, round back, tuck your chin, open your back. And then as you come back up to the front, we are going to lift the chest, shoulder blades squeeze down and together. And forward, both arms coming up. And forward, here comes our twist. So we're going to start on that left side, twist and reach and twist and reach and twist. Now that was the upper back and everything together. Taking a deep breath in, open the legs and just shake them out a little bit to the front. We're, we're going to still stay in that position. 
in uh, yoga, it's called Sukhasana. In dance, it's called fifth position on the floor. We'll take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, just walk, walk, walk your hands forward and relax your head. Taking deep breaths there, always taking the deep breaths and you'll feel your back expanding. Everything comes up. Let's put the other leg in the front. Last thing in this position of Sukhasana, walk it forward and relax. Everything rolls up. We're going to take our feet out in front of us now with long legs. Now, this is a flex and this is a point. We are going to be in flex because we want to stretch the Achilles tendon and the calf. So I'll be a little bit to the side so you can see. So we take a deep breath in. Now, as we come over, we want to stay in a diagonal instead of collapsing. So we're reaching out as much as possible on the diagonal. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, everything comes down. Let's just take some deep breaths there. Rolling up, we want your back to go the other way for a sec. So bring the knees in, hands behind you, and just lift up, chest goes to the ceiling. And back down. We're going to take your legs in frog, as I call it when we're kids. This is called Baddha Konasana in yoga. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to take that on the diagonal. So you're going to be on a diag, see? So the trick is, when we stretch, is to keep elongated for as much as possible. The chest is up. Inhale. Exhale, elbows go to the outside, and now we relax over. Rolling everything up with that inhale. Knees come right there in front of us, hands a little behind. Now without moving your chest, we're just gonna take the knees to one side, and then the center, the other side, and the center, just to relieve that Baddha Konasana or frog. One leg is going to come out to the side and one tucked in. Arms are lifted, your back is lifted. We're going to flex this one on the floor. Now reach your ribs past your hips. If you can grab the toe, that's great, or just anywhere that you can. And we take this arm straight up. So we're pulling straight up. Not collapsing, but pulling. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, see if you can go a little bit to the diagonal, but we don't have to go a lot because we want to elongate while we stretch. We don't want to crunch while we stretch. Everything back up to the center. Arms come up to this position that uh, it's called cactus in yoga. It's called goal post. And we just relieve the back a little bit from that lateral with some easy twisting, not letting the legs move at all, and then stop your twist when you're looking over your flexed foot. From there, we're gonna keep the back up as much as possible as we walk, walk forward, trying to keep our hinge. Take a deep breath. Just holding, just holding right there. We're not going to let it go. We're going to try to keep the back lifted. This is going to stretch out the back of the leg. And now, deep breath, and we'll let it go. Rolling everything up. That leg that's long, it's going to bend. You're going to make a half circle until it crosses over the other leg and then just sit super tall. Now whatever leg is in the front, this should be your left leg. 
if you're mirroring me, we open that arm to the back. So just reach it back. You can put it down on the floor and push down a little bit, and it's going to mitigate that length and stretch just a little bit more. Back to the center, both legs out in the front. We're just gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle so that we can go the other side. Both knees come up, one leg in and one leg out. Holding right there, flex that bottom foot so you get the stretch in the Achilles. We're just gonna take it over first so you get your rib cage out of the way of your hip because we don't wanna crunch right there. That's not really stretching. So we stretch it to the side. Your hand can go where your toe is or just on your leg. Now this arm is just going to go straight up and you're thinking of the straightest, longest spine. Inhale. And if you like, you can take it a little bit more over, but we're trying to avoid falling or collapsing into that stretch. Stretching isn't collapsing. We'll take it up to the top. Beautiful. Arms are going to come up to goal post and just a little bit of side to side to side. Sitting super tall. Stopping when we get to look over that leg. Now just put your hands on your thigh. Lift your chest. If this is uncomfortable, you can take your leg up like this at any time. I know for some people it's kind of uncomfortable to have your knee open like that. So just feel free anytime if you want to lift it up or even just put it out straight. We've got that hinge going on. Take a deep breath. Exhale. And now we relax. Everything rolls up. Both legs in the front. Now we've been bending our back forward a lot. We're going to do the opposite. So one more time, bend your knees, lift the chest, and the chest opens up and stretches. We're trying to lift up those glutes, lift your hips, and everything back to the center. Legs are going to open. Now, if this is a difficult position, make sure you're just sitting on something. The higher you are sitting, the easier it is. We'll take a deep breath, just trying to sit as tall as possible. So maybe sitting as tall as possible is as far as you can go without collapsing. We don't want to collapse. Just sitting stretching up through the back. When you collapse, we no longer get the stretch we're looking for. Lifting up through the back, and if you can take it on a little bit of a hinge, see the toes are straight up, we don't want to turn them in, just breathe right there. Neck is long. Now everybody is at a different stage with this stretch, because this is a great big gigantic stretch. What we want to do is to be able to hinge our way over instead of head to the ground. Because head to the ground isn't going to stretch in here where we're trying to stretch. So we just keep the hinge, keep your back up as much as possible and breathe. A little bit more if you can, but don't worry, if you're, if you're up here, that's good. The point is to not collapse. So maybe sitting up just tall, that's enough of a stretch for you today. That's okay, because when we do it correctly over a, a period of time, things improve. But if we do it incorrectly over a period of time and we go, I just do that every day and I'm not getting any better, it's kind of how you do it, not so much that you do it. So how we do it is with correct form and we don't push it. We just let it happen over time with our correct form and everything sooner or later will be getting better. Rolling up, shaking out the legs. Let's come back into our Sukhasana with a deep breath in and open. Now for the very end, I usually don't like to do this until we're a little warmed up. If you like taking one ear toward the shoulder for the neck and putting your hand on top, this is where we would do it. Other side. I think you have to be a little warmed up before you do this. I wouldn't do this first thing. 
but that's just me. And back to the center. Let's take that deep breath in. Hands come on the knees. We're sitting so tall. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you liked this video, I'd appreciate it so much if you'd hit the subscribe and even the little bell. That way, when my next video comes out, you'll be the first to know with a notification. Until we meet again, my friends, have a beautiful day and keep moving.